What's up guys? Today we are going to be trying a root beer from my home state, the state of Oklahoma. So y'all better buckle up. So editor, cue intro. Yeehaw! What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Brock and I review root beers. So you can call me Root Beer Brock. So today on this episode, we are going to be reviewing a root beer that comes from my home state. This root beer is Oklahoma Root Beer, which is a little difficult to say at first, but once you get it down, it just rolls off the tongue. And I think it is a clever name. I am very excited to review this root beer with y'all. I have tried it before. And I am so excited to try it again and let you guys know what I think about it. So let's get into it. So Oklahoma Soda actually has a very wholesome beginning. And it started only a few summers ago in Edmond, Oklahoma in the summer of 2017. And they wanted to create a unique cola that set themselves apart from other soda companies. But yeah, after several taste tests, they came up with a whole line of sodas, and we will get into that line in just a minute. But something that is very awesome and interesting about their sodas is all of them have the finest ingredients and include cane sugar, which we uh, covered cane sugar in a few episodes back where I reviewed IBC root beer, which had pure cane sugar in it. It is awesome to see another root beer that has pure cane sugar in it. So their goal of the company was to make the only family owned made in Oklahoma craft soda company offering a variety of wonderful flavors. And they have absolutely nailed this. That's what I love about it the most is that it is family owned and that is family oriented. It's always awesome to see something that is family oriented. I am so excited to bring to light this root beer. So here on their website, they have, like I said before, they have a whole line of different sodas. So let me just run through a few of their sodas real quick. So they got a uh, cranberry ginger ale, which that sounds absolutely amazing. The only soda I've tried from this company is the root beer so far, but I and very excited to try other flavors in the future. Uh, they also have like a OSU orange. So that's a very cool one for those out there. Uh, go Pokes. Um, I am a Boomer Sooner fan, but I'm not going to judge you for whatever team you root for. Because honestly, I root for OSU things. Like I ca I'm kind of 50-50. Some things I root for OSU. Fa some things I root for OU. Like golf. Boom, OSU. Football, OU. Okay, so let me move on. So here is the root beer. So there's a lot of things in this root beer that really excite me. And I've tried this root beer before, and it is a really good root beer. And I'm actually really excited to try it again. So here on their website it says, We Oklahomans know and love our root beer. And Oklahoma root beer was made for this exact reason. That's me. That's me right there. I know and I love my root beer, root beer bra. Handcrafted and perfectly brewed with pleasing hints of vanilla and pure cane sugar. Created the richest, smoothest, and creamiest root beer. So, man, that is a bold claim. It is the richest, smoothest, and creamiest root beer. Like, not just, not just one of the richest, one of the smoothest, one of the creamiest, it is the richest, it is the smoothest, it is the creamiest. So we are going to put that to the test. Like, they are sounding like Bianca Belair up here in their root beer. Like, they are the EST of the root beer. So I am very excited to put this to the test. And see here, caffeine free. I can't remember if I touched on that or not. And then, uh, so let me move on to the rest of their sodas. Uh, here's a Mr. Twister, which I believe this is a kind of like a cherry Dr. Pepper type drink. Like that's what it's kind of resembled to. I'm not too sure. Uh, I have not um, tried it, but 
I will definitely try this. This this is the only other one I've seen in stores. If you don't know anything about Oklahoma's geography, we are in the Great Plains, and boy, do we love having tornadoes. We have a lot of tornadoes. We are like the center of Tornado Alley. And so moving on, um, this cream soda right here looks absolutely amazing. Like, they have like caramel in it like but yeah like this picture right here just gets me craving cream soda and and honestly wish i could have got some cream soda too i believe this is their original right here this is their oki cola which uh i believe this is their original this is a cola so like a coca-cola or a pepsi or a rc this is what this would be right here but yeah, they have such a cool line of sodas, and I cannot wait to get into this root beer. So where to buy these sodas? You can buy these uh, anywhere in Oklahoma. I'm sorry they are not outside of Oklahoma quite yet, but I know they are working on it, trying to get it that way, because I know every day they're getting them into more stores, and they are just working so hard, because I uh, keep up with them on instagram and i've been seeing because i've been trying i've been hoping there's been like more coming to my area and i actually found one so so the one i found was research so research is a, a pretty uh, famous grocery store in oklahoma I actually had a friend that went to the local research and texted me that they had a lot of root beer and then sent me a few pictures of said root beer and as soon as i saw Oklahoma root beer I knew I had to go so I as soon as I got off work I literally went that night and spent $65 on root beer in one trip and that was in a course of two stores over the next few weeks I'm going to be reviewing all these different types of root beer and I cannot be more excited and so like I said um, earlier um, Oklahoma soda is made in Edmond, Oklahoma, and and there's another soda that I grabbed uh, when I was at Reesers that was OKC soda root beer. So um, I cannot wait uh, to try that one as well. So you got Edmond, and then you also got Oklahoma City. However, I want to waste no more time. Let's break out that glass. All right, so I got the glass, and it is a glass bottle this time, which is absolutely fantastic. And there's, so I wanted to show you guys this. I got two of them because I wanted to show you. They also got a, like, a navy blue cap. So um, I'm not sure why there's two different ones, but so if you don't find it with the orange cap, try to find it with the navy blue cap. And... My guess to why that might be is um, our basketball team is Oklahoma City Thunder and their colors are orange and navy bluish. So maybe that's the reason, but I don't know. But but um, I just wanted to show that. This is the one that I had in the fridge, so we're going to be drinking out of this one. But yeah, I just absolutely love how this uh, bottle looks. Like I love their whole label, their uh, logo. It's just absolutely fantastic. As you see there, um, it's a windmill. It's a very simple logo, but yet it does so much in my opinion. And you see there, Okoa Homa. I love that. I absolutely love it. But yeah, made in Oklahoma. So yeah, I absolutely love it. And there you see, made with pure cane sugar. But yeah, I, I'm so excited. Ooh. Just like Zia. If you remember, Zia was a exclusive to New Mexico, and I said like that that uh, cap nearly cut my fingers. That's what real root beer caps do. So yeah, I'm gonna have to use my shirt for this one. Call me a baby all you want, but these hands were made for editing YouTube videos and twisting caps, fragile caps off root beer bottles. Oh my God. Okay, this is a legit bottle cap, so I am giving in. I think I'm gonna have to get a 
uh, bottle opener for this one. Okay, I'll be right back. One eternity later. Okay, I found a bottle opener. Gosh, they got this on there really good. Yikes. All right. But finally, I got it off. Okay. <laughs> Took me forever, but here we are. Oklahoma Root Beer. Going in. Man. Yeah, it's... The, the aftertaste is a little different than what I remember. But yeah, it's really, it's really good. It's really good. It reminds me a lot of the Great Value Soda that I just reviewed last week. And if you, if you haven't checked that video out, go ahead and do so. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash the like button if you are enjoying the root beer content. But yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. This has such an interesting taste to it. It tastes, in my opinion, it taste, it's kind of like a hybrid of two root beers that I've had before. It's uh, kind of a hybrid of Great Value and Zia. And I feel like if Zia root beer, the one I tried in New Mexico, didn't have the licorice, it would taste a lot like this. I love how different this root beer is. Because they got all the all the things that you love in root beer in there. But it's like flipped on its head, honestly. Like, this sounds really weird, but it sounds like the way you taste root beer is reversed in a way and that's the only way i know how to describe it i mean let me let me take more more sips so i can tell you what i mean so my very first sip, I said that aftertaste is different than what I remembered. And I kind of misspoken because it's not the aftertaste. It's actually the initial taste that's different than I remembered. So what this root beer does is the most, most root beer I try, like it tastes sweet right off the bat when you take a sip and then you like get a hint of spice in it however this like the spice is first but it's not like really strong and noticeable it like it just kind of sneaks its way in there and you taste it without even knowing you're tasting it and after that initial spice comes in you get this middle where it's like a transition and it is a really cool transition and and like I said, like the spice, I feel like is usually in like the aftertaste of the root beer. But like, it tastes like the aftertaste comes first in this root beer. Like, I find that really interesting. Then the sweetness comes in. And I really love the sweetness in it. Chemistry. Yeah, because, man, that sweetness... It's, I'm not going to lie, as an Oklahoman, the sweetness really hits close to home to me. It, it, it feels welcoming. Like, the people here are very welcoming, I feel like. And that's that's what the sweetness does in that root beer. And, and, like, the sweetness of a lot of the people here is very welcoming. So, so it, it's, it's like it goes hand in hand with this state. Like, it is such a good root beer. Alright, so, just like that Barks root beer did, 
I'm starting to get a weird feeling again from this root beer. It's it's really it's really interesting. It's you know it's from Oklahoma and oh my head just feels like spinning right now. It's spinning and spinning and spinning. Man, that was an F5. Oh! Brock, F5! Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and give this root beer a rating. Um, like I've said all video long, it, it has a very welcoming taste to it. And it's really interesting how it kind of takes the ideal root beer taste and like flips it on its head. And it feels like it is coming in reverse. Like it feels like the aftertaste is first and then the spice and then the sweetness. It is such a weird thing, I know, but you got to go try it and see what I'm talking about. And maybe you will feel the same. If you have tried it, comment down below and tell me what you think of it. But yeah, I, I really like this root beer. I think it's really different. And... I think it deserves to be ranked right up there with the great value root beer that I just reviewed. And but yeah, I'm I'm giving back to back tens. Like Ooh, it's a ten. A it's really good. It's a really good root beer. And I I'm not just biased because it is from my home state or anything, but I just I really like the root beer. Like like, it is a good root beer. I feel like anyone from any state would like this root beer. And, uh, but yeah, it, it is such a, it is such a good root beer. I absolutely love it. As I go in for the final sip, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And it just makes my day to see all the love and support that y'all have been giving me on the last few videos. Please just hit that subscribe button and shatter that like button and also turn on that bell so you never miss a root beer brock video and like i said before comment down below if you tried this root beer and if not i highly recommend trying it so go ahead and check them out i'll have their instagram linked in the description and so yeah they are a 10 out of 10 root beer company and so here we go final sip I had more in the bottle there than I <laughs> thought I did. So that was a big final sip. But anyways, good job. Let's go home. You thirsty partner?